Well, hello, friends and followers, and sometimes you can't win for losing. So, I'm still belaboring on this Drake T4XC, and you're like, why is he doing this? Well, sometimes you just want to complete something. So, when I got this thing like a month ago, replaced the tube, and that pretty much fixed it. And I remember thinking, that nah, didn't need much, a tube. And it worked and worked and worked, and then I got the bright idea of... Oh, we'll clean this thing all up. And when I cleaned it up, I took all the tubes out. And so some of them, you know, I put back in and, well, like this one. The number either was never on here or it got wiped off. And I never really worried about it. So I think this thing's a 6AU6, but who knows. Anyway, I probably spent, I don't know, four or five hours today trying to fix this thing, trying to make it transmit. Wouldn't transmit. So finally I went to the tubes and said, well, let's let's put a different I ordered a bunch of uh ordered a bunch of tubes for this thing. Ah, uh, six, what is it? Six something J7. Where are they here? Oh. I'm gonna pile these tubes here. Real funky ones too from Europe. Six something something can be that one. This one looks like it's toast. This guy didn't care and me great tubes. He has six EJ7. So <clears throat> I ordered a bunch of these six EJ7s. This is the um, the pre-mixer, thinking that these were bad. Ordered a bunch of those and put in one from GE into here, a reasonable tube. And then the radio still wouldn't work. So I spent like hours debugging, looking at the... Uh, Looking at these two uh, tube sockets here, there's the pre-driver. Pre-driver's right here. I was measuring voltages and everything else, trying to figure out what's wrong with this thing. And looking at the driver. Anyway, I finally like, got frustrated and I popped in a new tube. So I, I, I found a, uh, a 6AU6 in a box here, which I didn't know I had, and I threw it in there. The radio came back to life, and it's like, wow, you always got to check your tubes, make sure they're good. So I finally got this thing to get drive again. It had drive, and I had the plate on the uh, finals dipping. I thought, well, that's working. So, But I had no output from the jack in the back, from the SO239. I had no output. So anyway, I pulled the relay and thinking, oh, this thing... Uh, I think it carries all the antenna. It carries all the RF current. So anyway, yeah, it looks pretty smoked. I think people want fifty bucks now for these on eBay. Some ridiculous price. But this one looks like toast. Why is it toast? Because these two contacts here are fused together. See how I can move this, and it's it's. It's fused together, so I guess I can try to infuse it, but I don't really want to use a beat up relay. Anyway, what about this side? I could probably reroute some of these and move some wires around. Maybe that's what I should do and just do it that way. But how much how, how much headache would that be? Oh, okay, so the relay is on a PCB. No, I don't think I want to do that. It's on a PCB in the, uh, the T4XC, so we're not going to do that. So I guess I'm stuck fixing this little monster. Then I wonder, could I pull out, could I pull these pins out and put them on a different side? I could try to. I could try to take the relay all apart. Maybe I'll do that and uh, use some pins they don't use, depending on how many they use on the radio itself. Uh, what do we see here? Looks like a hairball to me. Might be best to buy a new relay. <laughs> we'll see. All right, well, that's my uh, my T4XC adventure so far. Looks like this thing's about coming back to life. Perhaps when I fix the relay, we'll get some output. We'll see. All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you're playing with drakes, be careful. This thing has like 600 volts in it. Um, where?
Okay, this last wire here, this wire right here, 750 volts, don't get shocked by that wire. 750 volts at half an amp can kill you, it's lethal. Okay, have a great day.